Now it's time to really turn that backyard covered structure into an outdoor living space. That's the difference between just a covered structure with nothing in it and what you're gonna see in this video, stuffed full of outdoor living to get you out there and keep you out there in your space, enjoy. Okay, what is the biggest thing that you wanna do in your covered structure? What is it? I don't know. I would think you're gonna say maybe a fireplace. I would say you're probably right. I think you should do some kind of a fire feature. Now fire features come in lots of different shapes and sizes. I would say a fireplace, number one to think about at least, in the covered structure. Now a fireplace could be a linear fireplace like this. Just so you know, and we've said it before, this makes it so you don't necessarily have to have a big chimney. This is a gas fireplace. It's self venting, which means just vents from the front. So all that heat where you really would lose it with a vent, all of the heat just comes to the front, which is great. Now that's the way a lot of these exterior fireplaces that are gas are. They're gonna be self venting units, which means the heat is just coming your way, which is great. The other type of gas fireplace would be more of a square version of the fireplace. Here's some examples of those right now. Now the beauty of these types of fireplaces is you can choke in and you can put a TV above it very easily and you can make it look like it's a wood burning fireplace with a true chimney. Now these chimneys, I just wanna say, are fake. There's nothing in them. They're just simply for aesthetics. They just give you the look of a wood burning fireplace. Another type of fire feature would be a fire pit. Now when you think of a fire pit with a structure, I don't want you necessarily to put it right in the middle of that structure. We've done it in the past, but you're really pretty much just owning that structure being dedicated to a fire pit area. I would prefer you to do a fireplace or a fire pit on the outside along one of the walls. Now if you do a fire pit with this style, I would encourage you to do a reflection wall at the end of that. So it's a simple, it's inexpensive, it's a fire pit, you just get a fire ring, and then all of a sudden you turn that on, and the heat from the fire pit is gonna be reflected back into the space as you're seeing here. So that's another inexpensive option that really adds a lot to the space. Some people get a structure and they just put a hot tub in the structure. Now you've dedicated your whole structure to a hot tub area. No, don't do that. Unless you have a huge structure, two room structure, we've done some of these in the past, where it has all your outdoor living stuff in one area and your hot tub in another. If not, don't do the hot tub in that space. Put it on the outside, use some other means to cover yourself if you are really concerned about rain or snow but don't put that in your covered area. Obviously, you probably already know what number two is, what I'd recommend, the bigger type things, and it's an outdoor kitchen. I really want you to do it. I mean, what do you, what do you do on? What do you do in a backyard space for if you don't have a really cool backyard kitchen, a space to grill, a space to cook? Food brings people together, and I want you to have that environment in your backyard space. So add a backyard kitchen. It could be a very small one in your covered structure. It could be a very grand one that takes up a whole wall of the structure. It could have multiple cook items. You could have the grill, you could have you know, a side burner, you could have a griddle, you can have a pizza oven, tons of different grill surfaces that you can add to your outdoor kitchen. And don't forget about all the storage for the space, your refrigerators, your ice makers. There's a lot to this, just like the inside of your house. Think about it for your covered outdoor living area. And then when you're thinking about a kitchen, Think about a bar. Now the bar we talked about a little bit in the last video, just using that maybe a single post for a, a smaller bar. But sometimes, if, depending on the size of your structure, you could do a grand bar. You could do a bar behind the kitchen, in fact. You might elevate it to 42 inches. By the way, a 36 inch is the kitchen height, 42 inches is the bar height. You can understand that there's different elevations. It seems like right now the trendy thing to do is to keep everything at one height. So just remember that. I'm sure it'll change in two years where now it's back to 42 inches. So just remember that. But add a bar to your space if you can. And really think about that in your design of your covered structure area. And don't forget about the kitchen sink. That is a popular one. It's not as easy to add. So think about you know bringing in the plumber for that. 
but a lot of people love it. And then you wanna think about the dishwasher. A dishwasher is really convenient for your backyard, especially if you're entertaining a lot. You just throw everything in the dishwasher at night and it's good to go for the party the next day. Remember with all of these different items that you know you can do, you have to think about how to get all of the plumbing properly done and you might really consider hiring a plumber unless you're very handy with plumbing type stuff. So part of the kitchen aspect that you can't forget about is your, your countertop. What's your countertop surface gonna be? Now, what are you thinking? I can almost see through the camera and I can see that you're thinking about doing concrete. I would just wanna caution you against concrete. Please don't do concrete and at least consider some of the other options out there. We've tried concrete, I've had it at my own house. I hated it, it was the worst. It, efflorescence was gross, cleaning it was hard and it just never seemed to be nice. We love granite in our local area. I love granite, it's great but there's other solid surface veneers. One of them is Corian. I know there's a lot of different name brands. It basically do a very good job of mimicking what a granite is. I do want to say this, just make sure that it's okay for the extreme cold and the extreme heat. A lot of times the sun is what really does those countertops in. So that's why I like granite so much is because it's basically granite, solid granite from a mountain and sun or snow or ice is not gonna affect that granite. Just remember this, now another solid surface that I've done at my own house is pavers. Now pavers sound like a weird one, but hey, we're walking on a paver. I do a ton of backyards with pavers. If you do like a two by two or a three by three and you cut that, it's a nice solid surface countertop. The only thing is you had that line. So it's something to think about. It is a much less expensive option than the granite option. So you can consider that for your covered backyard living area. We mentioned it last video, but I'm gonna say it again. And just thinking about all of the lighting and all of the fixtures that go into your space, it's important to think about right now. You might wanna do a fan. I would encourage a fan, especially if you're in a warmer climate, because that fan is just gonna give you that breeze in the summertime. But think about the speakers that go in. What's the finish of those look like? Don't forget about the heaters for the winter time. Those need to be in right now. TV, you're gonna do a TV, I would strongly encourage all those thoughts right now. All these different things need to thought, be thought about when you're in this stage of your structure. Now I wanna just uh, add this in right now and it is the lighting that goes in around potentially like the bar of the space. We've talked a ton about this, but I really want you to know about it is you can light up the lip of your bar or your outdoor kitchen. So just think about that, it's important. Now the fun part is the furniture. You furnish the area for people to enjoy the space. You're putting a fireplace in, you're putting an outdoor kitchen in, you're putting a bar in, but still the catch all, the what everybody is gonna do in there is sit. They're gonna go in there and enjoy the space and the outdoor furniture is gonna give you the ability to get people out to that space and keep them out there. So go get some nice furniture. It could be a sectional, it could be, it could be pieces, it could be a couch, it could be a couple of chairs. Always remember the tables, the little side tables, they're so important. And I just wanna say this again, don't necessarily put a dining table underneath the structure. It's just wasted area again. Bring that dining table on the outside and let save the fun stuff like living room. That is what you wanna create in the covered outdoor living area, is that living room environment. I just wanna say this while we're talking about uh, the, the ground, is the hard surface. I prefer a paver, you probably know that from other videos. A paver is gonna last the test of time, it's gonna look beautiful, but you could do concrete. If you do concrete, just remember, it's gonna crack, even with rebar, you're gonna have uh, cracks in it. It is what it is. Okay, now you're super close to really enjoying the space, but your covered area needs some of the knickknacks. It needs some of the final fun stuff. You can see all behind me, we have you know things at the bar, we have little signs all over the place. We like to knickknack our lives, our outdoor living lives up, so we can really feel like we're living in the space. I say that all the time. I want you to live in your backyard a lot like what you would do on the inside. Now part of living in the space is softening the space. So don't forget about all the flower pots in your covered area. You could even do a, a, a rug and you could do some of the, you know, the cushions, so pillows, blankets, all of that kind of stuff. It's really, really important. Covered backyard living area.
So we just talked all about covered structures, but that's only one aspect of your outdoor living area. Here's a video, it's all about the 13 best backyard ideas. I know you're gonna love it. I know it's gonna add to your covered structure area. So watch that video right now and really enjoy your new backyard living space. Thanks guys.